and this dinner is your P birthday for MJ. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Early birthday gift because she works so much, so we probably can't we can't meet up on my birthday, but it's okay. I wanted to talk to you guys about a product I've been loving that I use every day in the shower and it's the Impress Body Uni Sensitive Wash for your private area, for your intimate area. It is a all natural sensitive wash. Down in your private area for the ladies, you do not want to be using just any wash down there. You want to use a uh, sensitive wash specific for that area and this works amazing you guys and it's all natural the ingredients are right on the front amazing things like chamomile oil sandalwood oil rose water apple cider vinegar coconut oil aloe lavender oil witch hazel it's actually amazing not only does it make you feel really clean it actually makes that area feel really soft and smooth because of the things in here like rose water, coconut oil, aloe. This also helps if you have like bumps on that area. Like I know a lot of women suffer from like tiny little bumps on that area from either shaving or whatever the case may be. This really helps with that because it really detoxes um, that area and gets all the dirt and oils that might be caught down there. I love this wash so much it's a foam so it, it's it's it p works perfectly um this keeps me feeling so fresh like i just said it's one of the only sensitive washes i've ever used that i actually love and see here it is paraben free sulfate free gmo free it's dye free like it's all like 100 percent cruelty free and natural plant-based ingredients this is amazing you guys have to try it out um, I'll put the information down below. They are sponsoring this video, but of course, all thoughts and opinions are my own. You guys have heard me talk about this before. They also have elixir for down there, so you don't put regular lotion on your sensitive area, but I'm all out. But I'll show you guys the um, what it looks like, and I'll put the link for that down below as well. I have to get another one. I have to go get another one like right now, order another one because I'm all out of the... Um, elixir which is like an oil a mix of oils you can use down there to moisturize because like I said you don't want to just be using any lotion but this just makes me feel so fresh and so clean and I want to talk to you guys about it and so I'll leave the information down below and let's get on with the video what hard are you? it is I MJ Byron coming to you from Shanghai China about to head to Jinan Temple area to meet up with my friend Panita. If you guys watched my video where I was in Bangkok earlier this year, I met up with my friend Panita. Uh, I love her to death. She is. Uh, we met in school. We both went to Huadong Shefa Da Shui College. <laughs> Um, here in Shanghai, we both were learning Chinese here, so um, yeah, she's technically from Thailand, but she has lived and moved to China ever since going to school here. So now she still goes to school here, and uh, we're meeting up. I love her, she is probably one of my best friends on this planet because. I don't know, she's just so kind and sweet and I don't know, I just love her. I guess this is what I'm gonna wear. It's kind of cold. But I do want to wear this. Okay. Yeah.
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Who remembers in my vlogs when I would come here every single day? Oh my gosh, the smell in here is insane. I want to cry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look, I'm with Pani. Who remembers her from Thailand? And she got me a gift. Oh my gosh, thank you. Happy birthday for you. Huh? Oh yeah, thank you. I'm gonna cry. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, you are uh, Julie. 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 <laughs> no, it's okay. I got all this pasta. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. I got a squid ink seafood pasta. And we got some app um, app something like that. And she got this beautiful, what is it, salmon? Salad. Ooh, oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this. And I got watermelon and lime juice. They put it in a to-go cup because I was downstairs first. And she got iced tea. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. You picked the perfect place to eat. This is so nice. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit spicy. It's good. This a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Spicy. And inside spicy. So good. Ooh, yeah. There. <laughs> Ooh, look how beautiful these desserts. Remember in Bangkok? When we ate in Bangkok at the restaurant? The yeah, gave us the free dessert. And this dinner is your P birthday for him too. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Early birthday gift because she works so much, so we probably can't we can't meet up on my birthday, but it's okay. We'll do it now. Good. Try yours. You can try mine too. Ooh. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Not too sweet. Yeah, they don't. I love that. I Thank you. 
back to my apartment complex. And I have some things to talk to you guys about, okay? Shanghai and there's a lot going on but she still made time to come see me she got me one of my favorite masks from Thailand she's Thai she's from Bangkok um, but you know we she lives here in Shanghai I never tried this one but she said that she knows me and she knows I'll like it this one from Thailand you can see Thai words she's so sweet she refused to let me pay like like she literally refused to let me pay. That's one thing I love about Asian culture. In Asian culture, they literally fight over the bill. Like anytime I go out to eat with any Asian, especially if it's men, the men literally fight each other on who's gonna pay. And like, it's like nobody wants to let anybody pay. Everybody wants to pay. I love that about Asian culture. Um, every time I go out to eat with any of my Asian friends, they never let me pay, especially if it's a guy or if there's a guy there. Anyways, um, yeah, she wouldn't let me pay. She refused. I was like, honey, let me pay for my food at least. She's like, no, no. And she kept telling me to order. That food was so delicious. I, when I used to live in Shanghai, I didn't have enough money to eat at a place like that Element Fresh, so I never ate there. But I definitely saw it before. But it um, it was so good. We were talking about how Shanghai is like a perfect mix of fusion. Like Shanghai culture is kind of fusion. A lot of the places there have like a lot of Vietnamese food influence, Thai food influence, obviously Shanghainese food, Chinese food. Um, Shanghai is a beautiful city, and that's what I want to talk about. I was kind of upset yesterday because I was coming straight from Japan and I had gotten very used to Japan and somebody commented and they were like I think that you are not liking China right now because you got so used to Japan and that is so true I was very used to Japan I was used to the hospitality the courtesy the overly kindness the structure the you know and then i came here and i got really upset but honestly i love china so much these people are not rude they're really not they're so sweet they're just not if it makes sense they're just not polite they just don't have like manners where they uh want to make you feel like it's hard to explain they just don't aren't like babying you they don't baby anybody if they knock into you they knock into you but they treat everybody that way and i'm i talked to like 50 people today honestly like everybody just wanted to talk to me today in chinese and everybody's being so nice everybody's asking me what are you doing here you know people are being so kind you, i can't tell you how many people today told me you're so beautiful oh my gosh some girl asked me what do you use in your hair your hair is so shiny and i'm like you're asking me how my hair is shiny i thought her hair was shiny but i'm just like oh my gosh these people are just so sweet they're just so 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 they're more genuine than they are polite and mannerful and i really don't want to give china a bad you know name i was just kind of like throwing me into a cold bath i was freaking out but i honestly love this city with my entire heart this is the first place i ever traveled to shanghai is literally amazing and i love it so much and i love china so much and i don't take back what i said about china but i want to take back me saying i don't like it here I um it's strawberry season here in 
Shanghai and the, when it's strawberry season there's strawberries everywhere and the strawberries taste like manna from heaven no they taste like it's undescribable so um everywhere you go people try to sell you strawberries because it's strawberry season and uh so i got some strawberries you guys they're nothing like strawberries anywhere else the strawberries during strawberry season in china oh my gosh like I can't even explain it to you. They taste like candy. They're just so good. And I'm not even a strawberry person. Strawberry is not one of my favorite fruits, but here in China during strawberry season, they're ridiculous. And then of course I got water. I got peppers, Chinese peppers. I just put these on everything. And I got some high protein yogurt. It's a really good probiotic. Anyways, and I just also love it. So I got some yogurts. I should have got two of these because I'm going to be through these tomorrow. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to try my best to get this video uploaded. Um, it takes a while, so I'm going to hurry up and do that. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm so happy to be in Shanghai. Now, um, I'm meeting up with another one of my friends tomorrow. And then another one of my friends the day after. And another one of my friends the day after. So anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!